Hey guys, Steve here with The Fitness Hub, talking to you today about creatine. I'm going to let you know exactly uh, what it does and how to use it and possible side effects and the benefits of it. Creatine actually stimulates ATP production which is used for anaerobic exercise, so this is like sprints or heavy bench press, heavy lifting, so it's really used for those fast twitch muscles. The effects aren't immediate, you need to become saturated, so it's not like taking a caffeine pill, you aren't going to feel it in half an hour or an hour, it's going to take a while, but you will get those benefits in your muscles. A side effect that comes with taking creatine is that it draws water to your muscles. This will have the effect of making you appear fuller and will probably add a few, maybe a few pounds maximum to the scales. So essentially, its main use for dietary supplementation is it will increase your power output and you will actually become stronger. So there's a lot of different creatines out there. I mean, which one should you use? And I'm going to guarantee the best one to use is a creatine monohydrate. Plain and it's actually the most scientifically proven supplement and it's studied extensively and been peer reviewed. Anything else that's out there on offer is either just as effective or even a slightly worse. So just stick with your creatine monohydrate, you'll be set. There are actually different grades of creatine monohydrate. There's uh, just your bog standard creatine monohydrate, which comes from China, and then there's a greater purity uh, called Crea Pure, which comes from Germany. So how should you use creatine? There's been talk of cycling it, there's also talk of loading it, and uh, so what approach should you go? Again, it's really more simple than you think, like going for the basic creatine monohydrate, you want to go for just the basic approach, and that's taking it three to five grams daily, and at any time during the day, it doesn't matter, you don't need to load and you don't need to cycle it. The fact is, you need to become saturated and by loading it, you might become saturated quicker, but that's not of great benefit. You also don't really want to become unsaturated, so there's no need to cycle it. There's also no damaging effect from taking 3 to 5 grams daily long term. Like I said, you, it's very simple, you can take it any time with anything. Uh, there isn't any issue with taking it with acidic foods or you don't need to take it with like a carbohydrate or anything. It's absolutely fine. Your body's going to get it and it will utilize it at any time. Like I said, it's a long-term supplement. You, won't want, you don't need to take it pre-workout to then feel it during your workout. And you don't need to take it post-workout to get the benefits after your workout. It's going to take a while to get saturated and then you keep that saturation point. It's not like caffeine that you take and feel that immediate stimulant effect. Something I should cover is some people complain about feeling bloated and there's no reason that should really occur. The only reasons I can think of is whether they're taking a low quality creatine or the creatine they're taking has added other things such as carbohydrates. Creatine doesn't cause subcutaneous water gain. Uh, subcutaneous means it's the water below the skin, so it's not actually causes water to be drawn to the muscles, which is exactly what you want. There should be no bloating to worry about. So the take home points from that is you want to be taking a creatine monohydrate, you want to be taking 3 to 5 grams daily, that's easily sufficient, and you can take that any time during the day. Cheers guys!